Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is gonna be an Aquarius reading, but it is a collective reading, okay? So you can be an Aquarius or you can be another sign, okay? Um, just while I was meditating uh, for the reading, I kept on thinking this is a great message for the collective, even though I got it as a download for Aquarius, okay? So any placement, any sign, okay? Um, I am going to meditate with you guys to help us release any negative energy and allow us to be open to receive any of the messages in this reading, okay? Um, I want to invite you to set an intention for this reading, whatever your heart desires. Um, I'm going to set an intention for this reading by reading a positive affirmation for you that I pulled. So we have, I am going to figure out a way to get through this like I have gotten through everything in my life, okay? Very long. I wrote these myself, okay? It's been a while. One more time. I ha I am going to figure out a way to get through this like I have gotten through everything in my life. Beautiful message. Um, very resilient and optimistic, positive energy, okay? Great way to start off a reading, okay? Feel free to breathe in and out with me. Okay, let's get started. All of my Aquarius or any other sign that is watching this reading, okay? So the uh, download or the channel message that I got for you guys this week was um, you are thriving during Mercury retrograde, okay? One more time, you are thriving during Mercury retrograde, okay? Which is a very precise message. But I've noticed in the spiritual community that... <laughs> Every time Mercury retrograde comes around, it's kind of like a daunting phase. People are like, oh my gosh, Mercury retrograde. People are going to come back from the dead again. Uh, my ex going to contact me. Um, my computer going to shut down. My phone ain't going to work. You know, all that type of nonsense, y'all. So just doing my own research, um, Aquarius or any other sign watching this. Um, I looked, looked up what, what the definition of Mercury retrograde really is. So it says that... It, that it's when Mercury appears to be going backwards, okay? So it is all an illusion. It's not really going backwards. It just appears from the eyes that that it's the planet Mercury is going backwards in time, okay? Um, so I think it says something like that. The planets usually move from east to west and then about three to four times a year, it actually appears as if it's moving from west to east, if that's accurate. Okay, make sure you do your own research, okay? So with that being said, I feel like we should break it down in terms of how that plays out into the 3D, okay? So I feel like when people come back into our life or when we have to revisit things or when um, like all of our technical <laughs> devices start going array or we have problems expressing ourselves which i've definitely felt that the past week or so my throat is just going like ham hey, okay my voice is cutting off i'm stumbling on my words more than usual okay so it's intense so i'm definitely feeling that energy okay and i'm i'm assuming that a lot of other people are are feeling that energy as well too so the energy is real most definitely but I feel like it is all an optical illusion, which is what the Mercury retrograde is. So we feel like it's going to be a very daunting time and we just expect everything to crash and burn or or just for people to come back into our life that we that we feel like we feel that we have ended a cycle with. But we have to ask ourselves, why would we be so afraid or so daunted for for someone to revisit us if we have completely closed the cycle or quote unquote heal from the situation. Okay. So, um, it's all just a mind trick. Okay. I should say, or it's just playing tricks on your eyes. Okay. Because it is an optical illusion. But when we think of to illuminate, that is light. Okay. So, something is being enlightened or you are gaining in enlightenment okay um through 
whatever lessons or experiences you have to revisit during this time frame okay so with that being said you can still thrive during mercury retrograde because it is all an illusion and when there is an illusion that means it's just a change in your perception that can change the outcome okay so that's my download for you very long winded okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the tarot cards for you okay coming out first we have 14 temperance wisdom wisdom great teachings you guys have learned um in the in the past few weeks past few months okay especially in 2020 that was a crazy year stuff we ain't never seen before um so definitely a lot of wisdom you gain right now or you will be gaining wisdom but i feel like that that's the energy you in right now sagittarius energy major arcana um learning to learning the importance of duality so feminine and masculine energy at the same time and balancing that okay also being guided by your angels okay beautiful energy for opening energy a uh, second car also amazing energy king of wands okay this is leo energy as well okay so you can have a leo in your um, environment or, or that's somewhere in your chart uh but you're definitely standing in your power um you are definitely taking the the um initiative to be your own leader of your own life no matter if it is mercury retrograde or if it's not okay um the third card coming out is five of swords two of minds being resentful about something okay which makes sense because a lot of times people tend to revisit things okay so so it could be somebody revisiting you or it could be you revisiting things to illuminate it to bring light to it so you can heal and move on from it okay because if something keeps on resurfacing that's a clear sign that something needs to be addressed and healed okay in your outcome very befitting i cannot make this up we have the six of cups which literally means revisiting the past or someone coming back from the past okay now the thing is when we say past it could be past x not all the time okay so past could mean in your past lifetime okay meaning someone that you haven't met yet you guys have taken different vessels throughout lifetimes okay so you guys may not recognize each other physically but your soul recognize each other okay that's a very deep concept and that's only if you actually believe in those things okay but it but it could be passed from this lifetime okay so it could be a past ex it could be a family member a friend a, a former co-worker a business partner okay um and it doesn't always have to have a brutal end like you know like a big breakup and the person just dragged you through the mud it doesn't always have to be that way it could just be people moving in and out of each other's lives or just always missing each other okay it just wasn't the right timing Okay, I find that very interesting that that's your outcome. So definitely, definitely you will be revisiting something from the past or somebody will be coming back from the past. Okay, but however it works out, okay, it will be very healing for you. Okay, and it will definitely push you forward. You will find the wisdom in this situation. Okay, because that's your opening energy. Okay. Um, and your affirmation said, I'm going to figure out a way to get through this like I have gotten through everything. OK, so that's the energy we should have, whether we're in Mercury retrograde or if we're not. OK, at the bottom of the deck, you have the seven of wands. So you are balancing yourself. You are very protected right now. OK, guided by angels. OK, divinely guided. That's the phrase I'm hearing. Beautiful energy. I usually feel guarded energy from that, but I'm just feeling that you are protected by your spirit guides by god by the universe however you see it the emperor number four okay aries energy okay i know this is leo energy but i always feel like that this is emperor energy to me okay it just gives me the feeling of it okay it's just like it's just someone standing in their power being very confident being very decisive boss energy okay they can't be swayed they can't be wavered it don't matter how rocky you get and i love this energy okay bottom of the deck the lovers i love this card too so some love coming in for us okay it could be it could be during mercury retrograde as well too okay or in the month of february valentine's day is happening it's aquarius season so it's lots of love okay the empress 
the feminine okay or it could be to actually uh you could be balancing the duality that i mentioned earlier feminine and masculine energy okay um also you could you could be birthing something new which i feel like you're in a very positive energy um no matter what's going on in life even if you have some hiccups um you are still trying to push forward which is great energy the higher font leveling up leveling up in spirituality okay when i see this card i always think of him going up talking to god and coming back down with all the answers he needs and he's very um happy and delighted and full of so much joy in his soul and i love this image on this card okay um it could be possible marriage it could be because we got the lovers we got the emperor the uh the empress yeah Oh, okay. Yeah, we got the lovers. We got the emperor and the empress at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is a divine counterpart, you could say. Interesting. I didn't even notice that. I all, When I always get those cards, I never notice that those are um, actually similar energy. So one masculine, one feminine. Okay. Okay. Healing after heartbreak. Okay, so I feel like that your next bond will not end in heartache okay it will be a wish fulfillment okay more leveling up energy more and more leveling up energy um, i'm gonna go ahead and end your general reading right there um, and shift into your love reading okay and maybe we can get more information about that um, in your love reading i am going to uh pull one card for your current emotions um and your current feelings towards the situation or the person then we'll pull one card for your emotional blockage so what could possibly be getting in your way of connecting with the new love partner okay or this current connection okay so it can be past present or future take it how it resonates okay we're going to do the same thing for the person you're thinking of or the future person that's possibly going to come in um, and then we'll get mutual energy and then we'll get um, a potential outcome as a closing card okay the cars are not talking and popping how they was in general reading. Okay, okay, okay. I, I talked too soon. Okay, we got some. We got the same similar cars that came out in the um in the general at the bottom of the deck. We got the seven of wands coming out again, and the higher font. Okay, so it could possibly be a higher level of commitment. I said marriage, and I know that that's what the car means, but higher level of commitment is different to each person. Okay, it won't always be the same. Okay, we got some positive energy. Positive energy. Good vibes. I love it. Good vibes. Okay, we're gonna get two more cards and I'm gonna go through the um go through the energy. It seemed like I'd be shuffling for days, y'all. Days. And it's probably like milliseconds when y'all watch this, but it be seeming so long to me. It be seeming so long. Okay, that's that heartbreak card coming out again. Okay. Okay, one outcome. Okay, it's positive. Um, so we have coming out for your current emotions, uh, towards a person or situation. Uh, we have the seven of wands. Okay. Um, you could feel that you are being guided towards this person. I feel like you're very balanced. I feel like you're focusing heavy on meditation and yourself right now, loving yourself. Um, beautiful energy. Uh, you are very tapped into spirit to your higher self. Um, you could be protecting yourself as well, too, just because the mutual energy I'm jumping ahead a little bit is the three of swords. OK, so healing from heartbreak. So you could be protecting your heart, but it's positive energy. I don't feel like it's something where you haven't done the healing because I feel like you are doing the healing and you are actually addressing some things that you need to address within yourself. I feel like it's you being that temperance energy and actually learning from your past mistakes and learning to take the lessons. Um, so you are learning to set boundaries uh, for not only this person, but just anybody that tries to come into your life or come back into your life or a new person. Um, you are telling them, hey, this is what I stand for and this is what I will accept. Very Queen of Swords energy I'm feeling from it, okay? which that is the Aquarius card in the minor arcana. I take it as, as the king or the queen, but it depends on how you would read to that or interpret that intuitively, I feel like, as a reader. Um, in your emotional blockage, we have number five, uh, the Hierophant. 
okay so five is changes to me seven is completions for me as well i, I always take seven as completions but i know in the deck 10 is like a form of, of completion seven is also a godly number as, to me intuitively as well um so just a lot of godly a very positive energy you you definitely radiating right now Aquarius, and i love that or any other sign is watching this um emotional blockage there's something that came to mind when this card flew out and it definitely just went straight out of my mind for some reason so maybe it just wasn't meant for me to say it hmm higher fine emotional blockage this could be a past higher level situation i'm gonna say <laughs> higher level commitment or situation that you were in in the past okay um and take how it resonates if this side doesn't resonate with you then maybe the other side will okay um but this could have been something in your past that you could be possibly holding on to and still healing from it with the seven of wands energy that is definitely someone that is healing but they are taking the necessary steps to heal okay which is always great energy so we always work at our own pace and our own time frame okay and it seems like that you got that down pack okay so it could be some past heartbreak in your emotional blockage which i feel i don't want to say that that's normal but we're human so unfortunately sometimes we do hold on to past heartbreak and we can do healing by ourselves but sometimes that things will still resurface when we actually start to integrate and connect with new people and the person's energy um, or their current emotions or feelings towards you the situation is three of pentacles they want to work with you okay they want to work in harmony they want things to be balanced okay it's three so it could be somebody it's a lot of threes and i'm looking in there we got three of swords and three of pentacles okay so it could be an outside source. It don't always have to be a person. It don't always have to be romance. It could be a friend, family member, a coworker, um, or a friend, okay, or something that's outside that we don't see. So maybe like if they having money issues or if they working a lot or if they have a child, different things like that could, could play a part in, okay. Um, but I feel like it's very positive energy. Eh. It could be positive or negative. I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat it. Um, but I feel like that the person do want to work with you, okay? And it could be I'm reading as positive or negative just because you are so protected, okay? So it could be a little guarded. Just be mindful of that. But I mean, you can only be... If you're not comfortable yet, you're not comfortable yet, okay? Like, you can't force that in you shouldn't actually allow someone to force that okay like that's something that should be happening naturally because that's a boundary okay but just be mindful of that um when you are actually when you actually are going within doing the work meditating that you are protecting yourself and learning from your lessons but you're not casting people out and putting up more walls okay because then that just is kind of defeating the purpose of the work that you're doing during meditation okay so be mindful of that and the person's emotional blockage we have number 15 the devil okay capricorn energy. it could be a capricorn it, it could not okay so you could be dealing with one or not but it's taurus i um, mean your emotional blockage so we have major arcana both in the emotional blockage or what lies underneath the surface as i like to look at it okay interesting so spirituality codependency obsessions addictions is in there emotional blockage okay so they could be dealing with those things the obsessions the addictions the codependency okay it could just be their shadow self they could be doing some 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 type of shadow work right now okay that's what i'm hearing and that's what I'm leaning more towards is if them if they are doing shadow work, okay, which will make sense because seven of wands, you are meditating, protecting yourself, getting balanced, okay, having all your chakras aligned, tapping into your higher self into God. Okay, you are highly protected right now, whoever's watching this reading. Um underneath the surface, um, the person is doing shadow work, okay. So you may be a little bit more further along in your 
healing process or healing journey than the other person is, okay? It doesn't mean that you guys aren't a match, okay? And this could be romantic or it could be a family member or a friend, okay? Because I'm not really getting anything too precise on romance, okay? So maybe this is just the start of something, okay? Maybe you guys are still in that friendship phase or you guys haven't connected yet. And maybe when they, um, not maybe, I feel strongly that when this person has completed their shadow work, um, or they've kind of shifted out of it because I don't know if we can ever stop healing or or if we can ever stop doing shadow work because I feel like healing is a lifelong process in my opinion. Um, they will be able to come towards you or you guys will be able to connect on a deeper level or just connect in general and actually meet each other if you haven't. Okay, but very transforming. Like the work that you guys are doing in your... Um, emotional blockage is very deep very deep a very transformative and deep bond i'm feeling it's a beautiful connection um a lot of pain and torture in, in the in the connection but i don't feel like it's from you guys i feel like that this is from past experiences because in the mutual energy like i said we had three of swords Okay, so that's so that literally means to mend a broken heart or healing from a broken heart. So I feel like both of you guys are healing from a broken heart. I don't feel like that this is any heartbreak you guys have experienced in the connection. I feel like that this is just from your um, past, okay, or past life. So it could be karmic debt, okay. In your potential outcome, we have the page of wands, okay. This is always a positive energy for me, just the colors and the cards, Um how she jumping up playing with a stick <laughs> i just i love the vibe in this card okay it's a vibe um very positive to me it's very radiant um the outcome is playfulness uh, playfulness that's the word that came to mind when i get this card in love i usually feel i usually hear the word playfulness okay um there's a need to have fun there's a need to enjoy yourself okay you um you guys could bring out the child in, in each other, okay? Or you're, you could feel like a child when you are with them. And not in a bad way, but you just feel like you have a lot of fun. You're very happy. When we become adults, sometimes it is very easy for us to be weighed down. As children, it's just like, child, I'm going to play. Can can I have some chicken strips and some french fries after I come back in? That's kind of interesting. Like, children just be like, I woke up to play. Like, that's my job for the day is to play, have fun, which is great energy to be in. But just as adults, unfortunately, we have so much other stuff going on. It just, we tend to forget sometimes. Not all adults, but some people, okay? And it's easy to forget. Um, so definitely lighthearted energy for your outcome positivity i feel a very slow moving energy because that's a page so that's like you trying to manifest something new okay when i get the night energy intuitively i feel like it's somebody moving towards something slow but moving towards something page is like i'm trying to manifest something i'm i'm getting up off the ground but not yet okay so if so if you met this person past present or future it doesn't even really matter in, in this scenario it's just going to be a very slow moving energy okay but try to be lighthearted about it okay and um enjoy the time and live in the present that's what i'm here or live in the moment i should say love the moment beautiful energy um i'm gonna pull a car um it could be a lesson or an advice card it just depends on how it resonates with you okay one card, please. One card for queries and the collective.